This video is an installation video for Sinister Diesel's regulated fuel return kit for 2003 to 2007 6 liter power strokes. In the kit you will find the instruction manual, the regulator block from Sinister Diesel, the hard fuel lines and the soft fuel lines, and the protective coating to go around the soft fuel lines to protect other engine components. Also have the Aeromotive instruction manual and Aeromotive regulator and Sinister Diesel fuel pressure gauge and Sinister Diesel sticker. To start off this installation we are going to coat the passenger and driver side exhaust manifold bolts with a penetrating oil, then going to drain approximately 3 gallons of coolant from the cooling system. Then we can begin removing the degas bottle by removing the two hoses and then unbolting the degas from the truck. Go ahead and remove the lower hose from the degas bottle and remove the entire assembly. Next we can remove the air filter and air filter ducting from the truck. Next the intercooler piping on the cold side can be removed. Then the factory fan shroud can be removed using a small flathead screwdriver. Now the intake elbow can be removed using 8mm socket or ratchet. For early 03 to 04 trucks, the intake valve will have to be removed first. Next, the upper radiator hose can be removed for easier access to the factory fuel regulator and fuel lines. And then the hot side intercooler piping can be removed from the turbo and intercooler. Using a half inch drive, remove the fuel filter cap and begin removing the fuel lines from the fuel filter bowl. For easier access to the front driver side fuel line, you can remove the coolant hose and use a 19 millimeter ratchet to remove the factory fuel line. These two arrows are pointing to the factory fuel lines on the front of the head. Remove the front driver side banjo bolt and copper washers, then remove the fuel line. Next we can work on the front passenger side fuel line. Same process, remove the banjo bolt and copper washers, then remove the fuel line. Now we can remove the factory fuel fitting onto the fuel bowl. We can install the new sinister fitting and the new hard line as shown in the picture. Once the new hard line is set in place, the banjo bolt and copper washers can be inserted into the head and tightened down with a 19mm ratchet. Then the fitting on the fuel filter bowl can be tightened along with the fitting connecting to the new hard line. Now we can install the new front passenger hard line through the alternator bracket and into the banjo bolt in the factory position on the 
passenger side head. The factory fuel fitting on the passenger side of the fuel filter bowl can be removed and replaced with the provided fitting from Sinister. Now the soft line can be connected to the new hard line coming from the front passenger side of the head. Once the front passenger hard line is secure, we can remove the factory fuel regulator using a series of Torx bolts and keeping pressure on the factory regulator. It is spring loaded and may pop out. Remove the factory o-ring, plunger and spring and replace with the sinister diesel regulator block using the provided hardware. Once the regulator block is secure, the factory return line can be installed onto the Sinister Diesel regulator block. This image shows the installation of the Aeromotive regulator onto the alternator bracket. I'm going to remove the 13mm bolt and the 8mm bolt on the back of the alternator housing. Then going to use those locations to secure the new Aeromotive regulator bracket. In this image, the soft lines are highlighted to show correct routing to the Aeromotive fuel regulator and to the factory fuel filter bowl and the sinister regulator block. From the front of the regulator to the passenger side of the sinister regulator block, you can install the soft line with the 90 degree bend and tighten down. From the port at the back of the truck, you can install the soft line from the regulator to the passenger rear and then from the front of the regulator in reference to the truck, you can install the soft line headed toward the driver's side rear. Once the passenger side soft line is secure, we can work on removing the FICOM from the truck using a series of 8mm and 10mm bolts. In this image we can see the new fuel lines installed into the back of the passenger and driver side heads. Please note the location is in line with the front of the truck. And here we have the white pipe being removed from the back of the turbo. Once the exhaust manifold bolts are removed and the Y pipe is separated from the truck, we can unscrew the 6mm plug in the back of the passenger and driver's side heads. Then we can install the new fuel line, banjo bolt, and copper washers. This process will be repeated on both passenger and driver's sides. It is important that the Y pipe is removed from the turbo inlet for easy access to the rear of the heads. With the new hard lines on the rear of the heads, we can install the soft lines and tighten them to the hard lines. Here you can see plastic sheathing being used to protect other engine components and protect any abrasion on the braided steel line. Once the soft lines are tightened to their respective hard lines, the truck can be reassembled, including intake air ducting, intercooler piping, 
and the cooling system needs to be filled to factory specs. Once the truck is fully reassembled, the fuel pump can be cycled approximately 10 times to refill the fueling system. Once the fuel system is primed, the truck can be started and while the truck is running, the fuel pressure can be adjusted to approximately 70 PSI. I want to thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next Sinister Diesel installation video. For more information about performance products, please contact Sinister on the web or toll free. Thank you.